All right, what's going on, guys? Try back again here to bring you another video. This one will be doing another video review for the Walking Dead uh, comic book series. Uh, this will be of trade paperback number three, volume three, and it is called uh, Safety Behind Bars. So, uh, those of you who just watched the television series, uh, we ended off season two with them finding the prison, and season. Uh, Three will be probably mostly them going to the prison, clearing the prison out, leaving in the prison, or li living in the prison, as well as including uh, the governor's group, which it seems like they're kind of excited to do, and also Merle and other things too. So it's not going to be exactly the same as this, but there should be a lot of elements in this trade paperback in The Walking Dead Season 3. For example, um, probably some of the coolest parts of, of this trade paperback is when they get inside the prison and they actually... Um, <laughs> go to this, uh, they just open up a cafeteria looking for food and, and supplies and stuff, and they see four guys just chilling there in the cafeteria by themselves, and the guy says, hey, want some meatloaf? Right there, you see how they're just like relaxing? As soon as they open the door, there's just like four guys just chilling there. And uh, these four guys here are um, actually uh, inmates. So um, they're not guards or anything. Uh, they're inmates, and there's uh, a few different ones. There is uh, Dexter who is uh, this uh, African-American male with a uh, shaved head and tattoo on the side of his head, a missing tooth right there. Um, a, uh, a guy with a, sort of like a fatter guy with a long white beard, his name's Axel, uh, who's another cool character. Uh, Andrew, who's a character that, I think his name's Andrew, that has uh, curly hair and he's like really drugged out African-American, uh, maybe about mid-twenties type guy. He's got earrings, and he's just like really cracked out, like, you know, like a heroin addict or something. And then the creepiest one's name is Thomas. This will give you a look at all, all four of them. So uh, the murder guy is Dexter at the bottom. Uh, what would that be, your bottom right? Yeah, I guess your bottom right. Andrew at the bottom left, you can see there the cracked out one. Axel at the top left, and the one that doesn't turn names Thomas with the glasses. By the way, this will contain spoilers, so if you're if you're looking to read this and you're worried about me spoiling the storyline for you, then you probably don't want to watch this video. Um, so yeah, so we get to meet the four of them. They're inside there. Quickly, Rick and the group find out that they're actually inmates. They're not uh, guards or anything. Like They actually committed crimes. Dexter confesses that he's a murderer. Axel says that he was he's in there for armed robbery. Uh, Andrew, of course, drugs. <laughs> drugs, man. Possession, selling, stealing. I've done it all. But I'm clean now. Totally clean. Gotta be, you know. <laughs> and then uh, Thomas, who's the creepiest one with the sort of balding and the glasses, says tax fraud, but it wasn't my fault. Um, then after that, so they find they clear out the prison and kill the zombies there, pretty much, except for some sections in the prison. And uh, Rick decides he's going to go to back to Herschel's farm and grab Herschel and uh, you know some of the other people that are there, his family that's still left alive, and is going to bring them to the prison with them to to live. And uh, so in this, Herschel has a different number of kids than he does in the television series. Television series, he just has like Maggie, Beth. I think that's really it, isn't it? Yeah, and then Jimmy, who apparently is not his uh, son, it's uh, it's uh, Beth's boyfriend. Um, but yeah, that's it. He doesn't have any other kids. And in this, he has tons of kids. In the comic book series, he has lots. He's got like two twin girls that are younger. He's got a couple sons and stuff. And uh, just... just um, yeah, he's just got a bigger family than what he does in the television series. Anyway, so we quickly uh, we quickly find out that as Herschel's family moved to the prison to live there, his two daughters, youngest daughters, are just kids, end up getting their heads cut off. <laughs> um, and uh, one of the freakiest scenes in the entire you know Walking Dead series, scariest is that really dark. Um, and so he loses his mind, of course, and wants to know who did it. Next thing they know, they're trying to figure out you know which of the inmates was the one that killed the girls or cut their heads off. They immediately think it's Dexter as he was in there for murder to begin with. So they think it, it was him. So they lock him up, do all kind, uh, you know, uh, take the precautions, do all that, put the guns on him, all that stuff. And uh, it ends up being uh, Thomas, who we then quickly see try to kill Andrea in a very cool scene, probably the highlight of this graphic novel. And I'll show you uh, what happens with that. Just got to grab the right page. Um, hmm coming. Here is uh, the two girls. This is graphic, by the way, just a warning. Um, yeah, there's the two girls' heads, and they become walkers, of course, so they start twitching and all that. And Glenn puts them down, and um, the scene with Thomas, who's the creepy, balding guy chasing Andrea. I'm going to grab it, because it's really cool. So, 
this is a really dense one too. There's a lot of stuff that happens in this trade paperback. I mean, again, it'll probably be a lot of season three, just the trade paperback. There, there she is running, and there he is chasing her with the knife. Rick sees it. Rick comes in, intervenes, uh, takes him down right there, and then puts in some vicious ground and pound. Some of the judges, Tito Ortiz, Brock Lesnar, ground and pound, they would be pleased. And, uh, you know, they pull him off of him, and his hands are all ravaged. Rick has just mangled his face right up to the point where, you know, his hand is, you know, foreshadowing. His hand gets ruined by just smashing his face. And there's Thomas's face, of course, because he found because obviously Rick knows that he's the one who killed Herschel's girls. Uh, so that's one thing that happens in this trade paperback. Also is Tyrese's uh, daughter, who had this creepy little boyfriend with glasses and stuff, uh, they have, like, some kind of suicide pact. And essentially, they were going to shoot each other at the same time, but she couldn't do it. So um, he did it. He did it to her. And then uh, after that, of course, she dies. She turns into a walker. Tyrese walks in, see his daughter as a walker, and um, you know can't can't kill her, and just keeps him off of her. And then um, her boyfriend shoots her, and um, which you can kind of see in the top scene there. And then you know Tyrese here, I'll f and I'll kill you. And then he grabs him, and Rick's not going to stop him because Rick obviously understands how he feels and stuff. He's not going to intervene, and he chokes him, he chokes the boyfriend to death. So, but I mean, you know, he killed her and stuff, and he does stuff a father like that in that kind of world. I can totally understand it. Uh, another cool scene is where they have this little gymnasium where they have like um, sort of like a basketball court, and. Uh, Tyrese goes into the basketball court and it's full of walkers and this is after his daughter died and he just goes crazy he just clears out the whole thing by himself because he at this point he's just gone nuts and um, you know so they think he's dead for a while but he ends up surviving um, and then let's see what else we have a lot of cool scenes uh, Rick leaves for a while to go and kill Shane after he's buried Shane because he did he uh, well they buried Shane but he found out in this issue that when People die, they come back as walkers regardless of whether or not they were bit. So he goes to kill Shane and, you know, says he's not going to bury him again. Then he comes back and stuff. And then they hang, they hang, uh, or they're going to hang Thomas. And um, they don't end up doing it. And Maggie ends up shooting his guts out. And then they end up throwing him to the zombies while Herschel watches. And what's one of the coolest, uh, the coolest scenes there is. I'll show you here where Herschel's just watching it. So they throw, they throw Thomas's carcass basically to the walkers and there's Herschel there just kind of watching on the other side of the fence right there and then I think another one here see right there where he's just watching just standing there just watching it happen as it's all happening you know very cool and then to top it all off to make it even better uh, while all this is happening and every all the chaos and stuff the other inmates kind of go on notice and here's uh, here's Dexter who comes out with some of the guns from inside the prison Rick's like where did you get those guns and basically makes him you know, to put his gun down and then Dexter puts a gun to his head and uh, he says get out basically and that's the end of this trade paperback so this one again is oh, man this is such an exciting issue so many cool things happen in this issue uh, there's no filler in The Walking Dead there really isn't there's no filler every trade paperback you read you know somebody's dying cool characters are getting introduced. I mean, there's just so much goodness. Uh, this, again, is, is a really exciting, um, you know, graphic novel by itself. It collects, I think, issues be, let's see, the last one was 7 to 12. This one would be 13 to 19, I believe. And, um, yeah, this this is, a, this is an awesome trade paperback. A great part of the story. And if, you, if you're kind of interested to see uh, what the environment will be like in, in season three. It's probably going to be like that at the prison. And uh, I'm sure they're going to introduce some inmates. They may introduce the same ones as, as are in the book here. The governor is not in this at all yet. Um, not at all. This just deals with pretty much getting into the prison, the death of, of Tyrese's daughter, um, Thomas, and the other inmates that are in there, and uh, the battle that begins between Rick's group, Thomas's group, and Herschel coming to live at the prison with him. Shane burying, uh, or Rick burying, uh, not burying, uh, digging up Shane from being buried and killing uh, zombie Shane. So, but it is an awesome trade paperback. It is, you know, again, just a great addition to The Walking Dead. 
Uh, and, you know, without it, some of the really interesting uh, prison, you know, sequences and stuff that we get to see there are in number three, safety behind bars. So um, I think it's kind of interesting, too, that in efforts to get away from, you know, the dead and the zombies to go into a safe place, they end up going into the prison. And then just by virtue of that and having inmates there, they end up losing several members of their group just from that. So it's, you know, the people are even more dangerous, especially pe people that are prisoners and that kind of stuff. And Rick almost dies because of this Dexter character, which is, which is cool too. And then the next issue, you know, that gets resolved and some other things happen as well. And very soon then they bring in the governor into the governor's uh, arc very shortly. So in terms of the score, I'm going to also give this one a 9 out of 10. I think it's an awesome trade paperback. A lot of fun, really cool. And anyone who kind of wants to get a feel for what we may see in season three, a lot of the elements that we'll probably be seeing uh, you may want to pick that one up as well. Anyway, that's it for this video review, guys. See you for the next one later. Peace.